Oh, just lost our first little piece of the pruning tool, which is this little wing nut here, which was holding everything in. So keep an eye out for that. Obviously, you can see standing behind me this uh, prickly little plant, not so little. That site's 2.4 meters tall. This is gorse, or uh, as its Latin name, prickliest, shittiest plant. Uh, it grows really well, or whatever environment, really. It's got thorns at the end of every leaf, which is really nice for when you have a dog. And it propagates from fire or heat. So that seed pod will actually burst and uh, can spread about, I think it's about 30 feet it can fly, something stupid like that. The seeds can live dormant in the earth for about 30 odd years. And as you can see behind me, it can grow one plant to a radius of about three and a half, four meters. So that's all the way height and width. Um, so you end up with uh, that behind us is actually probably just one plant and a bunch of little root systems in front of it. Now, I'm under no illusions, I'm not going to be able to eradicate this on my own, but I've always wondered what's in that little river behind me, the little henty. So, we're clearing a track. And the this stuff is, it's literally just growing out of bitumen and like leftover asphalt from the last time they poured this road. So I don't know the full origin story of this stuff. I think it was introduced, but it's sort of just like that U2 song that's playing in the friggin' background because it's stuck on my phone. Like everybody just woke up one day and it was just there um, and it spread like wildfire. So hopefully we can cut a track down through it and then to that river uh, bend. Stay tuned. Oh, I know it's a common theme picking up empty cans and broken bottles and stuff in my videos, but god damn Who threw out their mid-90s computer? I guess I haven't lectured anyone about throwing those out <laughs> oh, Weird Returned back from day two of clearing that gorse to a very excited dog, hello, and realized that once again I am bleeding for my videos. Eventually I'll stop that or just cut out the middleman and actually go and donate some blood. Anyway, we'll snap to day three. Fortunately, as the secret gets out about Tassie and how amazing it is, you just tend to see this a lot more. Just wait until we come around the corner and see how long this convoy is and what's actually holding everybody up. Oh, look at that. Caravans out in front of us. That's fine. It's just one of those things, but um, you just find yourself in these situations. you just got to take a breath and be patient. There's no point getting rolled up around it. Okay, so it's been about uh, a month since I've been here last, or two or three weeks. Everything that I've cut down started to die, which is good more rope to run down now to help my way down this hill. I'm just going to try and destroy everything in my path today and then see how far I can get. Let's go. Okay. We're about two hours in. I don't know if it looks like we've made much of a dent, but the wasps woke up pretty quick to the fact that um, there's open ground for them to hunt on again. And um, everything under the, the main canopy of green was this dead brown yuck. And um, so I've come through here and give these an absolute hiding. I mean, you know, see there, but like, look here already. It's only been about, not even 20 days since I've come through and the entire under canopy of the uh, the plants are all waking up and going into sprouts so 
yeah, it's going to be a bit of a battle to maintain this track and keep it open once I have cut it, but um, hopefully some of you guys can help me out with that. Okay, it has been four hours hard at it. We're nowhere near where I thought we'd be, but let's go for a walk. I have to leave the up here. Really good for sort of lowering yourself down because this is very steep. see river through there. <laughs> We're so close. So the original plan was to go a little bit further downstream to a bend but if you look down here it's a pretty fresh wombat burrow down there so I don't really want to disturb him um, as, as much as I can so instead I'm going to work up river and there's a little bit of a clearing about 20 yards up here and you can see his little little track down there through the through the gorse so we'll make his access a little bit easier for him we got a little bit more clearing to do <laughs> we've made it oh. ouch holy cow that is so satisfying to finally see this river up close <sighs> this is going to be a satisfying part even if I don't catch a fish <laughs> well, unfortunately, there's no uh, no gold in the river today. Um, there are plenty of little browns that are working around, but I either seem to be spooking them or just not giving them the right fly that they want. Um, but that's okay because we made progress achieved our objective which was to get access to this little spot in the river so um, might probably make a little bit of a series of this and um, slowly ship away at other patches of gorse and, and get better access to um, what was once a very productive little fishery and uh, it's sort of really good to see fish still working in here and, and seeing the river in such good condition Shame about all this gorse but we'll get there anyway that's it for me. So we can come back down here with an R now that we've cleared it out a little bit and uh, see you guys next time. Uh, also, I'll uh, chuck the coordinates or the map link of uh, this spot into the description. Because the only way to keep that gorse at bay is to, to give this place a little bit of foot traffic. So uh, let me know in the comments if you do happen to come past this place and uh, let me know how you guys go. All right, see you in the next one. Cheers.